your girl Latisse here and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but life happens. Nevertheless, I'm back with another easy DIY project for you all. Um, this one is a full length body mirror. I know a lot of people have been in the market for one lately and so have I. And everyone I kept coming across was either $200 to $500 and I was not paying $200 or $500 for a full length mirror. So I decided to make it myself in under $100 go figure um so i'm going to show you all how you also can make your own diy full-length mirror in three easy steps so keep watching and make sure you hit that like button if you like what you're seeing and if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified whenever i drop another diy video because i will be dropping another one very soon so let's get started so let's talk materials First, we're going to talk about the wood. What I got was two wood deck boards um, that were cut to fit the width and the length of the plywood that you see there. And the plywood, I also got that cut to be just a little bit bigger than the actual mirror so that the wood deck boards can go around it perfectly for the border of the mirror. Um, next, I have the epoxy glue, the wood glue, the paint, and then your sandpaper. Now it's time to glue the wood. The first things you're going to want to do is glue the width ends of your wood deck board pieces to your plywood using your wood glue. Once you're done gluing the width ends of your wood deck boards to the plywood, place something heavy on top of them and allow the glue to dry for about an hour. As you can see, I just used the remaining pieces of my wood deck boards. Now it's time to glue the first length wood deck board piece to your plywood using your wood glue. Before gluing the last wood deck board to the plywood, um, I placed a mirror inside of the frame just to make sure it still fit perfectly before I glued the last piece um, because originally we were measuring it while it was still in the cardboard. Once you glued all the wood deck boards around the frame of the plywood, you're going to want to gently flip it over to allow the glue to dry for a few more hours while the plywood's weight rests against it. Once dry, flip it back over and it should look pretty sturdy like this. Next, you're going to glue the mirror to the plywood. For this step, you're going to need your epoxy glue and what you're going to mix inside a plastic container. I just used the container it came in. Um, once mixed, you're going to want to spread it evenly across your plywood before pressing your mirror down on it. Once your mirror is securely in the frame, 
You're going to want to allow your glue to dry overnight. Now it's time to paint your mirror's frame. I chose to use the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover, which is a paint I've used before and I really liked it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is start off with the outer part of your frame before you work your way inside. Now allow the paint to dry for a few hours. Now it's time to paint the outer borders of your frame as well as the inside. Make sure you securely cover your mirror. Once you're done painting, allow the entire frame to dry overnight. And voila, you now have the perfect full length mirror. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment below. And if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified the next time I drop another cool DIY. See you soon.